Hey everyone, welcome back to Tiny Predators. Today, we're diving into a lesser known but important topic, the Oropuch virus disease. This virus is something you might not have heard much about, but it's crucial to understand, especially if you live in or travel to areas where it's prevalent. What is Oropuch virus disease? Oropuch virus disease is a viral illness caused by the Oropuch virus, primarily transmitted to humans through the bite of infected midges, particularly the species Colicoides parensis. The disease is common in tropical regions of Central and South America. It's named after the Oropuch River in Trinidad, where the virus was first identified. While the disease is generally mild and self-limiting, it can occasionally lead to severe complications like meningitis or encephalitis. About Structure of Oropuch Virus Oropuch virus, OROV, is an RNA virus belonging to the family Peribunyaviridae in the genus Orthobunyavirus. Its structure is typical of orthobunyaviruses, featuring a spherical, enveloped virion approximately 80,120 nanometers in diameter. The virus has a segmented, negative-sense single-stranded RNA genome, composed of three segments, the large, L, medium, M, and small, S, segments. These segments encode for various viral proteins, including the RNA-dependent RNA polymerase, L, envelope glycoproteins, GN and GC, and nucleocapsid protein, N. The envelope of the virus contains glycoprotein spikes, which play a crucial role in cell entry and immune system recognition. How Oropuch virus transmits to human? Oropuch virus is primarily transmitted to humans through the bite of infected midges, specifically the species Colicoides parensis. These tiny biting insects become carriers of the virus after feeding on infected animals, such as sloths, which serve as natural reservoirs for the virus. Once a midge bites a human, it injects the virus into the bloodstream, where it can multiply and cause infection. In some cases, the virus can also spread from human to human through contact with infected bodily fluids, although this is much less common and typically occurs in close contact settings. How Oropuch Virus Cause Disease in Human 1. Entry and Initial Infection The Oropuch virus is introduced into the human body through the bite of an infected midge, Colicoides parensis. The midge's saliva, containing the virus, enters the skin and bloodstream. 2. Replication and Spread The virus begins to replicate at the site of entry. It spreads through the bloodstream, viremia, to other parts of the body, including various organs. 3. Immune Response and Symptoms The immune system responds to the viral infection, which can cause inflammation and other immune reactions. Early symptoms typically include fever, headache, muscle pain, and joint pain. 4. Neurological Impact In severe cases, the virus crosses the blood-brain barrier and infects the central nervous system. This can lead to neurological symptoms such as severe headaches, neck stiffness, confusion, seizures, and even coma. These conditions are life-threatening and require immediate medical attention. What is incubation period and symptoms of Oropuch virus infection? The incubation period for Oropuch virus infection, which is the time between exposure to the virus and the onset of symptoms, typically ranges from 4 to 8 days after being bitten by an infected midge. Symptoms include 1. Fever. A sudden high fever is often the first symptom. 2. Headache. Intense headaches are common. 3. Muscle and joint pain. Patients often experience muscle aches and joint pain. 4. Dizziness. Some individuals may feel lightheaded or dizzy. 5. Nausea and vomiting. Gastrointestinal symptoms like nausea and vomiting can occur. 6. Rash. A red rash may appear, often on the trunk and limbs. 7. Eye pain. Pain behind the eyes can be a symptom. 8. Severe cases. In rare instances, the virus can lead to complications like meningitis or encephalitis, causing severe headaches, neck stiffness, and neurological symptoms. How to diagnose Oropuch virus infection? 1. Clinical assessment. Healthcare providers evaluate symptoms like fever, headache, and muscle pain, along with recent travel history to areas where the virus is common. 2. Blood tests. Blood samples are analyzed for the presence of Oropuch virus RNA using techniques like RT-PCR reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction, which can detect the virus's genetic material. 3. Serology. Tests such as ELISA, enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay, can detect antibodies against the virus, indicating a recent or past infection. What is treatment for Oropuch virus infection? There is no specific antiviral treatment for Oropuch virus infection. 
Management focuses on relieving symptoms and supporting recovery which include 1. Rest. Patients are advised to rest to help the body fight the infection. 2. Hydration. Drinking plenty of fluids is important to stay hydrated, especially if experiencing fever or vomiting. 3. Pain and fever relief. Over-the-counter medications like acetaminophen, paracetamol, can be used to reduce fever and relieve headaches, muscle, and joint pain. Avoid aspirin and NSAIDs if there is a risk of bleeding. 4. Monitoring. In severe cases, especially if there are neurological symptoms, hospitalization may be required for close monitoring and supportive care. How to prevent Oropooch virus infection? Preventing Oropooch virus infection primarily involves avoiding bites from infected midges, as there is no vaccine or specific treatment for the virus. Here are key prevention strategies. 1. Insect repellent. Use repellents containing DEET, picaridin, or other EPA-approved ingredients on exposed skin and clothing to ward off midgets. 2. Protective clothing. Wear long-sleeved shirts, long pants, socks, and shoes to minimize skin exposure, especially during peak biting times, dusk and dawn. 3. Use mosquito nets. Sleep under insecticide-treated mosquito nets, particularly in areas where midges are prevalent. 4. Avoid midge habitats. Stay away from areas where midges are known to breed, such as swampy, marshy regions, especially during peak activity periods. 5. Indoor protection. Keep windows and doors closed or use fine mesh screens to prevent midges from entering living spaces. Use air conditioning if available. 6. Environmental control. Reduce midge breeding sites by eliminating standing water around homes and using insecticides in high-risk areas. Conclusion. So, what's the takeaway? The Oropooch virus is a significant health concern in certain regions, but with the right precautions, it's possible to reduce your risk. Stay informed, protect yourself from insect bites, and if you suspect you've been infected, seek medical advice promptly. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Stay safe and see you in the next video.